Hello and welcome to the sixth video of this playlist. In the last episodes I showed you how to integrate your C++ code into the engine with the help of DLLs or how you can download the source code of Godot to, for example, build the latest version of Godot. So now I will show you how you can write your gameplay code directly into the source code and how you can compile everything to a new engine. Here I can recommend you to watch the other videos of the playlist because there I show you some basics which you will need in this episode. Today you need the source code of any Godot version. Here I have downloaded the current beta from the Godot master branch. And then you also need some boilerplate code. Here I have prepared a little project on GitHub like in the other videos before. Feel free to use this template for your own projects. So when you download everything, the source code of Godot and the example project from GitHub, then you see in the example project I prepared a calculator module and inside of it you can see some boilerplate code and two possible ways to integrate your C++ code. For the boiler code, here you have two files from SCONS, which you need to detect all your C++ files to build them into the engine. And you can also find a register tape C++ and header, which are important to register all custom classes in Godot and of course all the custom classes. Well, in the source code of Godot you find a modules folder where you can easily copy and paste the calculator module into. And theoretically it would now be enough if you use CMD and SCONS to rebuild the engine with our new module in it. But now I want to show you how you can edit the modules in a comfy way. Here I recommend you to use a Visual Studio solution because here you got features like the auto suggestion and you have less trouble with searching the names of headers, namespaces and functions. Therefore we need scans with following parameters vs so Visual Studio underscore project so project equals yes and now scans will build the solution and the engine for us. So when everything is done with compiling then we should have some new files in the bin folder our freshly baked engine and a little bit down here is your Godot solution, which you directly start. In Visual Studio, we need to rebuild the solution first. And then all includes and warnings should be found and resolved. Now, I will quickly explain each file for you. First, the boilerplate code, so the register header and the register type header. In the header you only need those two functions to register and unregister all your classes. It's also important that you insert your module name into the mid right here. And by the name I literally mean the name you gave the folder. In the .cpp it's like in the DLL method. So here you need to register all classes which are used in your custom module and of course including the headers. Your custom classes both are structured in the same way but they inherit from other base classes which means on the one hand we have the calculator ref.h and on the other hand the calculator.h. The calculator ref.h includes the core slash reference dot h and inherits from a reference. And the calculator node inherits from a node. So in a moment I will show you in engine what the differences look like. 
So this was it for the Visual Studio project. And when you are done coding your modules, you can rebuild the project. And down here, you see that Visual Studio is also using scones to rebuild the engine. So rebuild all succeeded. Now you should find in your bin folder your latest Godot version, which you can start. So let's jump right into the project of the pre previous episode. Here we have a 2D example scene and now I will show you the two versions of our calculator. On the one hand we can add a new node and here you can see as expansion of our normal node the new calculator node. When we add the calculator to our scene tree and attach scripts to the calculator, here inherit from calculator node and here we see that we can easily call our C++ function. And when we debug the project, here we can see our print. And the other way would be to attach a script to any node. And in the script we can direct access our calculator ref. And we can use new and now call the add function for example and if we print the whole thing we can see both prints from the calculator node and from the calculator ref. The basic difference between both ways is that you can use the calculator node as declarative code in your scene tree and you have also the possibility to expand other nodes of Godot. For example you can inherit from animated sprite to build more functions to it. Yeah, that's it with the tutorial. So today I showed you how you can integrate C++ code directly into the source code of Godot to wrap your gameplay code into Godot nodes and references. And I hope I could help you a little bit. As always, leave your questions, suggestions or comments below. And if you don't want to miss any new tutorial videos, I would be happy if you subscribe and leave a like. And I hope we see us in the next video. Bye!